He is known for his influential role as a composer and teacher in Germany. He is recognized for his profound musical education under Joseph Rainberger and his friendship with composer Johannes Brahms. His name is Robert Kahn. In the world of music, there are names that shine brightly and leave a lasting impact. One such name is Robert Kahn, a legendary composer whose life and work have left an indelible mark on the field of music. Born in Mannheim into a distinguished German-Jewish family of bankers and merchants, Kahn's musical journey began at the Königlichen Hochschule for Musik in Berlin. There, he studied under the tutelage of Joseph Rainberger in Munich and formed a lasting friendship with the renowned composer Johannes Brahms. Brahms's influence would shape Kahn's compositional style throughout his career, showcasing the profound significance of their connection. After completing his military service, Kahn embarked on a career as a freelance composer in Berlin. His talent and dedication led to him being employed as a choropeditor at the Stadttheater in Leipzig, where he honed his skills and continued to make a name for himself in the music world. In 1894, he returned to his alma mater as a lecturer in composition, becoming a mentor to some of the most well-known musicians of the 20th century. His students included pianists Arthur Rubinstein and Wilhelm Kempf, conductor Ferdinand Leitner, composers Theodore Holland, Nico Scalcatas, and Gunter Raphael, and violinist Karl Klinger. Kahn's passion for teaching and his ability to nurture talent further solidified his legacy in the field of music. Despite his accomplishments, Kahn faced immense challenges during the rise of the Nazi regime in Germany. In 1934, he was forced to resign from the Prussian Academy of Arts and subsequently saw his music banned from publication and performance due to his Jewish heritage. At the age of 73, Kahn and his wife Katerina made the difficult decision to leave Germany for England in 1939. In the face of adversity and living in relative obscurity, Kahn continued to compose prolifically, leaving behind a rich body of work. It was in England where he spent the last years of his life, residing in Ashted, Surrey, and later in Bidenden, Kent. Although his music was nearly forgotten after World War II, it is now being rediscovered by musicians and audiences alike, reclaiming its rightful place in the history of music. Robert Kahn, a prolific composer, achieved great success in the realm of chamber music. His compositions, characterized by an intimate and lyrical style, drew inspiration from the likes of Mendelssohn, Schumann, and Brahms. While he admired Rager, Kahn veered away from the grand orchestral forms and emotional extravagance of late Romanticism. Instead, he focused on creating works for smaller ensembles, showcasing his talent for crafting intricate and expressive compositions. Hashtag continue hashtag. Among Kahn's notable works are his three violin sonatas, two cello sonatas, and a variety of piano trios, quartets, and quintets. The violin sonata in E, Op 50, the piano quartets, Op 30 and Op 41, and the string quartet in a minor, Op 60 stand out as particularly remarkable pieces. Notably, Kahn also composed a unique quintet in C minor in 1911, which featured unconventional instrumentation. His compositions extended beyond chamber music, with around 180 solo songs and 13 duets highlighting his prowess in the realm of leader. Hashtag continue hashtag. Kahn's talent did not go unnoticed, as he was often commissioned to create works for some of the finest musicians of his time. From Adolf Busch to Joseph Joachim, these esteemed performers recognized Kahn's skill and sought his collaboration. Kahn's first violin sonata in G minor was dedicated to and performed by Joachim himself, while his second violin sonata in a minor, Op 26 was also dedicated to the renowned violinist. The Joachim Quartet premiered Kahn's String Quartet No. 1 in A major, Op 8, further highlighting the composer's close association with these esteemed musicians. Hashtag continue hashtag. Even after leaving Germany in 1938, Kahn continued to compose prolifically. His focus shifted to piano music, resulting in a vast collection of over 1,100 pieces. These compositions, known as the Tagebutch in Tonin, Diary in Tones, served as a musical diary, with Kahn producing several short piano works per week until his passing in 1951. While only a set of 29 pieces has been extracted and recorded, the majority of his piano music remains in manuscript form at the Academy der Kunst in Berlin, a testament to his dedication and creativity. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.